Ultratech Cement Limited is India's biggest cement company and India Euro unregistered trademark's largest exporter of cement clinker based in Mumbai, India. The company is part of the Aditya Bla Group and division of Grasim Industries. It has an annual capacity of 64 million tons. Ultratech Cement has been awarded the super brand status. Products, it manufactures and markets ordinary Portland cement, Portland Blast Furnace Slag Cement, White Cement and Portland Porcelana Cement. It also manufactures ready-mix concrete and autoclave derated concrete blocks, AAC blocks, with brand name Ultratech Extra Light. The export markets span countries around the Indian Ocean, Africa, Europe and the Middle East. Ultratech is India's largest exporter of cement clinker. The company's production facilities are spread across its 12 integrated plants, one white cement plant, one clinkerization plant in UAE, 16 grinding units, and five terminals a Euro 4 in India and one in Sri Lanka. Most of the plants have ISO 9001, ISO 14001 and OHSAS 18001 certification. In addition, Two plants have received ISO 27001 certification and four have received SA8000 certification. The process is currently underway for the remaining plants. The company exports over 2.5 million tons per annum, which is about 30% of the country's total exports. The export market consists of countries around the Indian Ocean, Africa, Europe and the Middle East. Export is a thrust area in the company's strategy for growth. Ultra Tech's products include ordinary Portland cement, Portland Porcelana cement, and Portland Blast Furnace Slag cement. Ordinary Portland cement, Portland Blast Furnace Slag cement, Portland Porcelana cement, cement to European and Sri Lankan norms. Ordinary Portland cement, Ordinary Portland cement is the most commonly used cement for a wide range of applications. These applications cover dry lean mixes, general purpose ready mixes, and even high strength pre cast and pre stressed concrete. Portland Blast Furnace Slag Cement Portland Blast Furnace Slag Cement contains up to 70% of finely ground, granulated blast furnace slag, a non metallic product consisting essentially of silicates and aluminosilicates of calcium. Slag brings with it the advantage of the energy invested in the slag making. Grinding slag for cement replacement takes only 25% of the energy needed to manufacture Portland cement. Using slag cement to replace a portion of Portland cement in a concrete mixture is a useful method to make concrete better and more consistent. Portland Blast Furnace Slag Cement has a lighter color, better concrete workability, easier finishability, higher compressive and flexural strength, lower permeability, improved resistance to aggressive chemicals and more consistent plastic and hardened consistency. Portland Porcelana Cement Portland Porcelana Cement is ordinary Portland cement blended with porcelanic materials either together or separately. Portland clinker is ground with gypsum and porcelanic materials which, though they do not have cementing properties in themselves, Combine chemically with Portland cement in the presence of water to form extra strong cementing material which resists wet cracking, thermal cracking and has a high degree of cohesion and workability in concrete and mortar. Plants, Ultratech a Euro unregistered trademark as presence along with its subsidiaries is recorded at 12 composite plants, one white cement plant, two wall care putty plants, one clinkerization plant in UAE, 16 grinding units. 12 in India, 2 in UAE, 1 in Bahrain and Bangladesh each, 6 bulk terminals, 5 in India and 1 in Sri Lanka and 101 concrete plants as per the company website. These facilities gradually came up over the years, as indicated below, 2011 Ultratech Cement Middle East Investments Limited, a wholly owned subsidiary of the company has acquired management control of ETA Star Cement together with its operations in the UAE. Bahrain and Bangladesh. The cement business of Grasim emerged invested in Samrat Dye Cement Limited in May, 2010. Subsequently, Samrat Dye Cement Limited amalgamated with Ultratech Cement Limited in July 2010. 
2006 Narmada Cement Company Limited amalgamated with Ultratech pursuant to a scheme of amalgamation being approved by the Board for Industrial and Financial Reconstruction in terms of the provision of SIC Industrial Companies Act. 2004 Completion of the implementation process to demerge the cement business of L&T and completion of open offer by Grassim, with the latter acquiring controlling stake in the newly formed company Ultratech. 2003 The board of Larson and Tubro Limited decides to demerge its cement business into a separate cement company. Grassim decides to acquire an 8.5% equity stake from L&T and then make an open offer for 30% of the equity of CEM Co to acquire management control of the company. 2002 The Grassim Board approves an open offer for purchase of up to 20% of the equity shares of Larson and Tubro Limited, in accordance with the provisions and guidelines issued as per Securities and Exchange Board of India Regulations, 1997. Grassim increases its stake in L&T to 14.15%, Araconum Grinding Unit. 2001 Grassim acquires 10% stake in L&T. Subsequently increases stake to 15.3% by October 2002. Durgapur Grinding Unit 1998-2000 Bulk Cement Terminals at Mangalore, Navi Mumbai and Colombo, 1999 Narmada Cement Company Limited acquired. Raish Najira Cement Works 1998 Gujarat Cement Works Plant 2 Andhra Pradesh Cement Works 1996 Gujarat Cement Works Plant I, 1994 Hermi Cement Works, 1993 Shishaguda Grinding Unit, 1987 Awapur Cement Works Plant II, 1983 Awapur Cement Works Plant I. Brands, Ultratech Cement, Blue White, Ultratech Ready Mix Concrete, Ultratech Extralite, Ultratech Building Solution. See also, Aditya Blue Group, Grassim Industries. References